thinking of just putting together a January favorites, just kind of some things that I really liked. Um, and just kind of compiling them together. Some are, the products vary from like makeup to actual tangible items to ideas or stuff that I'm interested in right now. So I'll go ahead and um, include all of that in this video for you guys. So let's get started. So the first item is the Got To Be Beach Trippin' Salt Infusion Waving Spray. It's Mermaid Wavy is the um, type of wavy that it is. And I absolutely love it. It's so compact as far as like the, the formula that's inside. And usually it's watered, like different ones that I've tried are watered down. And so it takes a lot of sprays to get the kind of wavy that I would like. And it's like beach kind of wavy that I'm interested in. And this, it gives me it. And I don't have any in right now because it's all gone. And I haven't been able, every time I go to the store, it's like gone. Like it, everybody, I guess, is using it. And it's amazing. It really gets the job done with just a few sprays. So if you are looking for something that's inexpensive and works like a charm, I would definitely suggest that you get the Got To Be Beach Trippin' because it's just amazing. And... It works like heaven on my hair, which is very thick, by the way. I have very, very thick hair, so I'm pretty sure if you have more thinner hair that it'll work just as good, if not better, with less sprays. And it doesn't leave your hair, like, super crunchy, like some do. So, I would definitely try it out, and I would get as many bottles as you can if they're on sale, because that's what I'm gonna do. But my next favorite is the, um, it's called Such a Clear and Such a Beat. It is a base coat and a top dry coat for your nails. My sister is actually the one who introduced me to them because she's like a nail fanatic and she's so good at doing nails. And I actually need to do mine. But it comes out with kind of like a gel finish and it stays on for a very long time. My nails just started kind of like disintegrating the nail polish but um I've had them on for like four weeks not had them on I've had them gaining for like four weeks so if you're thinking of you know going the more natural route with it still leaving like a gel finish on your fingers I would definitely get this and like I said one is a base coat and one is a top coat and it also helps with the drying it dries so fast so if you're in a time crunch and you want them to look really good, I would definitely suggest that you try these two. Pull them together. I think they might be sold separately. Because like I said, she gave me them, thankfully. She is a doll for doing that. And she gave me like a whole like setup nail kit. So um, I can actually do my own nails because she always does them for me. So thank you, Valencia. Okay, my next item is from Julep. I am... I was signed up with their um, member thing for a while, but I, um, but I no longer am just because uh, I just it's not what I wanted right now. So I might become one later, but as of right now, I'm, I'm no longer a member. But that they sent me, they were very nice, um, such as this one, which is the Ava Bombshell from Julep, and it's like this really pretty light pearl pink that has a nice little shimmer to it and I am all about shimmer like I absolutely love anything that glistens in the light so um definitely I'm a fan of this and I'm trying to experiment with the other colors they sent me but this is definitely one of my favorites my next item is Girl Boss by Sophia Amoruso founder and CEO of Nasty Gap and it's absolutely just amazing. I can't explain how um, inspirational and just like intellectual this book is. And if you are a entrepreneur or just anyone seeking advice for your life as far as moving forward with things that you're doing, I would definitely suggest that you get this book and read it because her advice and her stories and everything that she says and talks about is very, very motivational and very inspirational. 
and it's just like filled with so much knowledge like I'm reading it and I'm just like yes like that makes so much sense like it's stuff that you probably need to know but you just have to hear it a few times or hear it from the right person to be like when I read it I like think about everything and I'm like if I come across a sentence or a paragraph even that really means something to me I'll highlight it or I'll write on the side of it and I really like to make my books mine you know like with just a lot of um, interaction with me and the words and the thoughts and the meanings behind everything and I think that if you are an avid reader you should do the same um, make your books yours because that's what makes a book so amazing that's what makes it so um, close to you and, and really just what makes it so great so I would definitely say for you guys to get this book. My next items are some lipsticks that I am infatuated with. The first is Milani Teddy Bear and then it's Revlon Soft Silver Rose and I am absolutely just in love with these two because I use them as a combination and this is the color that they come out to be. It's mostly a base coat, or a base coat, a base of Teddy Bear and a very thick one and then I kind of use the Revlon on top as a very nice soft shimmer to kind of like bring it in the middle a bit instead of just keeping it so dark. Sometimes I do just wear a teddy bear alone by itself. Um, like if I'm on the go and I just want some kind of color on my face I just throw it on and it's so cute. Like it makes me feel so cute. So I would definitely put that on. It's a very nice color. It's like a dark pink, no not even a dark, like a dark maroon pink and it's kind of like intertwined together and it's very nice like especially like for the fall, for the winter, it keeps your look toned down rather than it being you know all um, glamoured up, it's a very like nice toned down lipstick. Okay my next item is my wallet, I did just get it the other day I believe I was shopping with my sister and um, she, she was getting some stuff so I was with her and we went to the store in Vegas I'm not sure if they're anywhere else it's called Nima and so they had some pretty cool stuff and I really like this one because I'm like a vintage fanatic and I love like old stuff that looks like very used and just looks like it has a story to tell and so I love like old letters and stuff like that it's just something I'm infatuated with so um, I really like this wallet because it kind of like intertwines like fashion which I adore with all that kind of like vintage look uh, I really like it because it's also like something that I keep in the back of my head like something I'm working towards um, like I said I'm not sure you know if you guys know or not but I'm the owner and founder of So Dreamy and it's an online store beds with you know retro clothing and just kind of stuff like that so it is something that I'm currently building up we are an indie brand right now so it's just this new adventure that I'm doing and I like to just when I see this wallet it makes me think of like stuff that designers back in their day had to come up or go through and stuff like that it's, it's kind of it might be like that's far off from the wallet but that's what I think about and that's why I really like the heart. It just made me feel like every time I look at it, it reminds me of where I'm going and like what I'm doing and what I'm working so hard for right now. Like, why this is all worth it. Um, yeah, I would definitely invest in anything that makes you feel that way. Whether it be, you know, a wallet, a phone case, wallpaper on your phone. Like, have it be about motivational things. So, my next item was the current bruises I have all over my body from dance and it's just something that is one of my favorites because I get it you know from the rehearsals that I'm doing all day long with the classes the technique classes that we're taking and um, each rehearsal for each piece is different so there's a lot that goes into that within both mentally and physically and so it's a good reminder because you know even throughout winter break and stuff you're always working 
out and staying active and stuff like that, but um, when you come back to school, and every time it's like still a, like slap in your face as far as like what you're doing and it's not enough. So it's funny because like even throughout this past winter break I was working out and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to stay in shape, like I'm going to still, you know, do my thing, I'm I'm still, you know, um, practicing my technique and all this stuff. So like it's not going to be that big this time when I go back and sure enough, like that first week my whole body hurts so bad, you know, and it's because, you know, we we practice, we're dancing. 10, 12 hours a day and with small breaks, you know, so you really don't have time to go do this or go do that, but I, I love it and it's just funny to me because if you're in certain pieces, you have certain bruises in certain places, so it's like you can kind of tell from each person who's in which piece. It's really just something that I cherish because as an athlete, I really understand the point of scars and bruises and things of that sort it, it just makes me feel very like rugged and I've always been that way you know even since when I was younger and I was playing soccer like if I got a bruise or something like that from going in hard in a play or you know if you scored from like sliding and you ended up getting like a cherry on your thigh like it was worth it because of everything that you put into that so that's how I feel about, you know, my bruised knees and ankles and arms and shoulders is, it's kind of like just showing like you're doing work, like you're getting there. So yeah, guys, that's it. Um, if you are looking for any more types of videos that you would like me to do for you guys, let me know. Definitely, if you have any requests, put them in the comment box or tell me on Instagram. It's ljlove, L-J-A-Y-L-O-V-E. Um, same thing, uh, same username for my Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you subscribe and like this video and share it with as many people as possible. Have a great day, guys.